Please show the moon rising in the sky. Please show the moon rising in the sky. Please show the moon rising in the sky. Hello and welcome back. It is Mid Journey Morning. This is episode number two and I have got my coffee with me and I am stoked about that. Let's jump into this and I will bring up to speed with what we're doing. So this is a new series where I go through and get inspired by some art from Mid Journey. I had some great comments on my first episode. I will make sure I link to the first episode if you missed it. Um, but some of the feedback I got was, hey, why not show you using it to create your own art? Which I feel like is a pretty obvious uh, thing that I should be doing. I'm just learning Mid Journey though. So although I'm using it quite a bit, thought it would be kind of cool just to introduce all the different things that it could do in my first episode, kind of looking at other people's stuff. And I'm going to still do that, but there's actually something that I am working on and I thought might be interesting to show. So I have a, a project that I'm working on and that project is called um, Robotic Roster, which I introduced this in the first video. I believe I did. If I didn't, then I will make sure that I introduce it again now. Essentially what Robotic Roster is, is a Instagram account that I created that has art that I also created using Mid Journey. And the purpose of this really is, I would say threefold. The first is that I want to develop the discipline to create new content every single day, at least three or four pieces of new content and upload that to Instagram. I would like to attempt to build a brand new account up to 10,000 followers. Now I've never actually built any account on any social platform up to 10,000 before. And there's nothing really special about that number other than it's a big number. And I think that it would be fun to see, can I start with absolutely nothing and develop enough discipline to post something every single day. And that's really what I'm doing here. And Mid Journey is a great tool for doing that because it makes creating content really fun. So without further ado, let's get back to Mid Journey. So today's robot, or one of many robots that I'm wanting to create, um, this one is a, is a telescope. It's a, a telescope based robot. And essentially the idea for it is, this is something that would sit in your backyard. It would allow you to get unparalleled access to astronomy. The reason that I decided that I wanted to, to try to imagine something like this is that I got into astronomy um, in the last couple of years, uh, astro astrophotography. It is an incredibly difficult hobby. Of all the hobbies that you can get into, Taking pictures of the sky at night is one of the most difficult. It will test your photography skills. It'll test your bank account because you will need to invest tons of money into the gear. And it will really test your patience because I live in the Pacific Northwest. It is almost impossible to get a sky that is not just overcast all the time. So I really would love a tool that I could use that would give me a guided tour. It would do all of the heavy lifting. And that's the reason that I invented, quote unquote, invented uh, the Star Streamer. In imagining the interior of it, one of the things that you need to do is be descriptive. So the first thing I tried to do here was basically ask um, chat GPT, which is the AI that I use to help write the story for each one of these creations, these robots. Um, and it came up with this inside of star streamer is a spacious high tech cockpit with sleek metallic surfaces and glowing buttons. The main attraction is a giant curved screen that completely surrounds the user, providing a fully immersive experience as they explore the night sky, comfortable seats, and an ergonomic control make it easy to operate the robot and enjoy the journey. This is what it kind of imagined. Um, now there's been several different iterations I've gone through, but this was the, um, I believe this was the, f let me go back. Yeah, this is the first one. This is the first one. 
Now, the thing about this one, I mean, it looks pretty cool. This is a great starting point. I think the bottom one, number four, bottom right, number four, I believe that that looks the most like what I'm thinking. It has a cockpit. It has some readouts, some displays. It's got the heads up display. It's got like a control panel. It's got the glowing buttons and all the things that were in the prompt. The thing that it doesn't have though is the right background. The perspective is wrong. Let's see what this actually says that we might be able to change in a variation. It's a spacious high-tech cockpit with sleek metallic su surfaces and glowing buttons. The main attraction is a giant curved screen that completely surrounds the user, providing a fully immersive experience as they explore the night sky. Comfortable seats and ergonomic control panel make it easy to operate the robot and enjoy the journey. So let's try some things. First off, I mean, I would love to simplify this prompt a little bit. So I don't want it to be a curved screen. Let's try an angular screen. Completely surrounds a user. As they explore the moon's surface as seen from Earth. Comfortable seats and an ergonomic control panel make it easy to operate. Minimalistic design. Let's just go ahead and submit this and see what happens. As it comes in, it looks like it's still not giving me the quite exact perspective that I want. In the original image, the moon is in the background. I kind of want to make sure that I can see the moon. I'm going to try something different here. The moon at 1200. It still feels like it's showing me the wrong thing. I bet you cockpit is, uh, is what's throwing it off. It thinks I'm in space. Let's try this again. It is a cockpit. You're inside of it. What's another way that I could describe it? Looking at the moon from the surface of Earth. Let's just see what changes that makes, if anything. Let's see, what can we do to change what's being viewed on the inside of this? That's the main thing that I'm grappling with right now. Yeah, it's just the wrong view. I think I need to start over with a different prompt. Let's go back to ChatGPT, which is what I used to create the description that got me close in the first place. Rewrite this description such that the person sitting inside is examining the moon from the comfort of their backyard. It's a minimalistic setup inside. Let's just see what it says. Person sits comfortably inside the sleek, minimal minimalistic design of Starstreamer. Their gaze fixed upon the moon as it looms large in the night sky. This is good. The immersive experience of being surrounded by the cosmos is like anything else, allowing for a truly close up personal look at the universe. Let's just see what this does. This one here, the bottom, number four, this one is the look of what I want the experience to look like, but it just looks weird in the room. This is cool too. It's too big though. This is a giant freaking experience and it's not a rounded. Let's see if we can fix this. Let's see, maybe I'll go back to the one where it is a cockpit and borrow in some of the, borrow in this part here where it says, um, their gaze fixed on the moon is at large. I think that that will help out a lot. The perspective is wrong. Oh, actually it's not. Ooh, there's no moon. I'm trying to add weight to the moon into the sky and I'm saying, don't show the earth, but use the layout of the one that I liked. Compositionally, it looks the way I want it. It's just that I don't have it showing the moon in the sky. Please show the moon rising in the sky. Please show the moon rising in the sky. Please show the moon rising. Please show the moon rising in the sky. All right, I'm gonna go with this, which I really like. I feel like this is a good image. So what I do now is in this tool, just drag in this image and um, this upscales it. So this this image that I'm looking at here, it's 359 by 621. So it's a pretty low, low res image. Um, but as you can see, maybe you can see, 
as I move this around, you could see on the right is the upscaled image. You see how sharp it is. And then on the left is blurry is the, um, the non upscaled image. And you can kind of see just all the details and stuff that you get. So I'm going to save this and it'll process and it will go onto my hard drive. And then I will upload this final image into Instagram. So that's going to be this morning's um, kind of an ordeal. I didn't get exactly what I was hoping for. If you're a mid journey master, if you, if you have an idea about the prompt that I could have used to generate, to get the, the moon, the, the moon, this, the moon, the moon visible in the scene, I would love to know what that is. I definitely appreciate that. Any help. Um, but that is today's mid journey morning. I got about half of the way through my coffee. So this is a challenging one. Make sure to check out robotic roster, new project, I'm trying to get it off the ground, uh, throw it a follow, I'm trying to get to 10,000. I'm at like 18. <laughs> so I got a ways to go. If you know anything about mid journey, please reach out. I want to learn more. I'll talk to you next time.